so funny. I love it. They didn't oh, render it. Render it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you communists. You had one job, Tony. Oh. Render into out. So you can't just hit the enter key. Re. <laughs> Oh. It adds to it. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It makes it so, so good. Oh. It's okay, I'll leave it. Okay, thanks. Good morning, Ephrata. You know, a lot of people have been telling me that I'm an incredibly analytical mind and that I you know, I'm not very you know, deep into like spirituality or anything, and to them, I'm saying that that is false. And here to prove it, I have a fortune cookie, and I'll be partaking in a little bit of superstition myself. So I'm just gonna. The fortune for today, and this goes for us all, is a cautious person leaves no stones unturned. So every time you find a stone, turn it over. Until that man asks you to get out of his yard, then stop turning over his stones. My name is Edwin. I'm Sam. Today is Monday, April 9th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh. Good. Here you go. Yeah, I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Chinese. He's going to come back for a moment. Attention freshman class, class officers, please report to room 214 at this time. That's freshman class, class officers to room 214. Attention juniors and seniors, you are invited to attend an evening of dinner and dancing under the stars on Saturday, May 12th at the Inn at Reading. Ticket sales for the 2018 prom will be on sale this week on Tuesday and Thursday, April 10th and 12th, and the following week on Wednesday and Thursday, April 18th and 19th. Student who, students who have obligations will not be allowed to purchase a ticket. This includes any fees or obligations, such as lost books, library fines, lab fees, missing forms, and time owed. Get your obligations cleared now and keep them clear so that you can make a hassle-free purchase of your prom tickets. Reminder, students will be seated uh, to tables of 10, so gather your one friend and purchase your <laughs> tickets as a group. This announcement is for any student who's taking an AP exam and still owes a balance for their test fees. Please stop by the counseling office and drop off your payment ASAP as final payments are due Friday, April 13th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ditzler. Now over to Gerald with the news. The party is pronounced to be fresh. What? Fish. Fish. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Just thinking about uh, Jeremy Bischoff. <laughs> <laughs> Hungary's right wing prime minister won a third consecutive term in the general election on Sunday. <laughs> Victor Orban, the self-proclaimed Eurosceptic who denounces the European Union and its economic practices, won nearly half of the entire vote in what many media outlets are referring to as an incredible landslide. His party, the Business Party, is expected to retain their two-thirds majority, which has been instrumental in their ability to pass any and all legislation, a feat that has made them all the more popular. Additionally, in Lord Hagen IV news, the share prices of Russian corporations began to plummet over the weekend, and as a result of stricter U.S. sanctions on several Russian businessmen, believed to have interfered with the American 2016 presidential election. Big shocker there. More information regarding the motivation and implementation of these sanctions can be found on the U.S. State Department website. On <laughs> this day in history, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered his 28,000 troops to the Union General Ulysses S. Grant. Oh, that guy. Effectively ending the Civil War, we arrived at the meeting place in full professional military dress while Grant arrived in his muddy, disgusting uh, form. Yeah, iconic. Grant told Lee that all of his men would be pardoned and were allowed to keep anything in their possession, including their horses, and Lee's men would be given Union rations Overall, it was a uh, pretty amiable ending to one of the most brutal wars in American history. Now, back to the main couch. Kidding. Over to Young Bosnia and Sammy with the strap with the lunch. Hey, what up, Everett High School at Young Bosnia? We got, today for lunch, we got a chicken pot pie with roll slash margarine. A chicken parm sandwich. Cheese crunchers. Cranberry chicken salad wrap. Chef salad. Sweet peas. Fresh baby carrots or celery slash dip. Chilled peaches, fresh fruit. Stretch it! Time to sports. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who is on 
What is this? Oh my god, what the? What? Tony! Gary! Oh, that is too funny. Oh my god. In sports resorts, since I just lost at Calico, softball lost Friday to CV and lost Sunday to Twin Valley. Girls lacrosse lost Friday against T Town, but won Saturday against Connor Advisor. Boys lacrosse won against won on Friday versus E Town and also won against Connor Advisor on Saturday. And baseball won on Friday against C V. Today in sports, baseball is at Selenko. Boys lacrosse is home versus Twin Valley. Track and field is away at LS. Girls lacrosse is away at Twin Valley and softball is home versus Selenko. Now back over to the main couch. Attention students of Ephrata High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please step down to Mr. Marzok's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. And since you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections to those, for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzok in room 137. You will need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only on on your petition will be voided. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation, basically saying that you would be a great leader, a hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzak, Mrs. Eshelman, or Senior Cirillo because they are the student council advisors. Don't even talk to them. <laughs> don't say hello to them in the hallway today. Just don't. Elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. So stop down to see Mr. Marzak and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, April 13th. Howdy, Ephrata High Schoolers. If you want to have a darn to and good promposal for someone special, why not do it on this here, Ephrata AM? If you want to do your promposal on air next week, please contact any cast member in person or throughout social media. But be fast, it's a first come, first serve basis, and the slots are already filling up. We at Effort at AM need to apologize for missing an important announcement on Friday. No, we don't. Even if you weren't able to make it to the District Art Show opening on Friday, it's still open until May 9th. That's it for us today, Effort at. <laughs> we can't wait for Mr. Bischoff to take photos <laughs> out of it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> we really can't at all. <laughs> Just still going. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. So, like, give it, give it like ten years. He's gonna get like all these schoology messages from all of us. <laughs> Yo, 